नमस्कार अस्सलाम वालेकुम गुड मॉर्निंग इन द सीरीज ऑफ ट्रबल शूटिंग आई हैव ब्रॉट अप टुडे व्हाट इज द सीरियस प्रॉब्लम इन पीटी इंजेक्शन मोल्डिंग सो एज यूजुअल आई पुट एन सर्वे एंड देन आई कम टू नो दैट हेजीनेस इन द प्रीफॉर्म इज द मोस्ट सीरियस प्रॉब्लम ड्यूरिंग द प्रीफॉर्म मोल्डिंग ड्यूरिंग द पीटी इंजेक्शन मोल्डिंग so to focus on that that how to eliminate this we have to know this four factor there are four region that may contribute to produce hg preforms and what actually hg preform that to understand this this picture is showing that some where uh, the full white some where its hginess that means it's not clear but it's not white in that semi stage so this problem there are four major region to address the first one is uh, heavy moisture in pt resin second one uh, resin temperature too high third one the temperature of pt resin is uneven and the fourth and the last insufficient extruder compression these only four regions to address this issue so the first one that we need to understand is uh, heavy moisture in the pt resin so what does the moisture do so moisture if it is in your resin it will create a hydrolysis reaction that is a chemical reaction which is usually called like water is introduced or water is enough to break a chemical bond so the pt chemical bonds that is broken and the hydrolysis reaction takes place so hydrolysis resulting iv loss then or the crystallization rate increases so in this way actually converting pt uh, from amorphous state to the crystallization stage so in this creation or in this conversion the moisture have the most vital role so mo moisture first do the uh, hydrolysis hydrolyzation and then uh, this creates high iv loss that and consequently we face uh, crystallization rate increases so this one uh, how to analyze this so if the companies are well established or the larger organization there in the quality lab there is moisture analyzer but for the smaller company who cannot afford this kind of equipment for that i am suggesting and which i have implemented on my line that when your machine is running completely good all the cavity uh, produces good preforms at that time you take a sample weight of the material like in a box and that box to be weighted and you record that weight of the material that material when you are facing this problem that time you do the same exercise and if your material weight is higher that is your moisture content so to eliminate this moisture content what we can do so there are five steps the first one is temperature second one is air flow third one is dew point measurement and the fourth one uh, residence time then the material flow but the first three is the most important in the in that scenario so how to correct the pt resin dryer so for that the, uh, if you see the air circulation the drawing is given on the dryer uh, that air comes from the environment and first of all that air should be dried that you get the dry air then it is heated and flow into the pt resin hopper so here it's the materials are coming uh, the airs are coming from top to down so here you have to ensure that the air flow is correctly as designed then the dew point that you have to measure if you have the meter if you don't have you don't worry for that then you uh, pay attention on the residence time like pt resin when they are supplier there is a temperature chart uh, supplied by the supplier where you can say that uh, temperature from 180 to 170 degree they vary according to the residence time if you are keeping the less temperature residence time to be increased but uh, for my uh, team this was the question that how you identify the residence time have increased so if the operation is going as normal 
then this issue will not be created. But if there is a breakdown on the line, the residence time of the PET material will increase. At that time, I always advise to my team that switch off dryer. If it is more than half an hour, don't keep it run, uh, running continuously because this will uh, may burn your material or your material can have temperature difference in the material. So this time, uh, this, uh, so this is to be taken care by the operator, by the engineer who is on the machine. So residence time and then the material flow. Material flow like from the ground, from the bag, from the uh, hopper where the raw materials are taking from, from that location it goes to the dryer hopper and from dryer hopper it comes to the machine barrel. So this material flow, if it is restricted, that means that portion getting more heated and it's little little coming into the, uh, into the barrel hopper. This will cause again temperature indifference, temperature variation into the material. So these five points you have to take care. The first one is the temperature of the material. Second one is the air flow. Third one is the dew point. Fourth one is residence time. And fifth material flow. This five you keep remember all the time if you are facing hedginess in the preforms. Then the last in the series, last in the uh, uh, addressing the causes is extruder compression. Usually uh, the line operator or the engineer they don't understand this uh, funda and they don't want to understand as well. So for my uh, team I always advise is that you understand the extruder uh, compression. Compression is basically uh, the plasticizing of the PET material or plasticizing means it is melting at the same time it is mixing. So when uh, screw is charged, the shear force generate and that shear force generate energy or the heat with that the material is mixing. So material mixing in the state like when it's compressed the homogeneous material should be forwarded into the machine, into the mold. So this compression if there is a difference in your wall thickness just pay attention on that that one side is uh, little less wall thickness that time you see the compression of the material is not well. So the simple reason uh, may be uh, that there is uh, uh, screw back pressure. So screw back pressure to be increased to make it better compression. If it is not solving your problem then you must see the temperature in the barrel starting from the feed zone to the uh, compression zone. So both of this to be taken care if it is back increasing the back pressure and your problem solved then there is nothing uh, but keep care if there is you, if you have not verified uh, the moisture content of the PET resin and you are increasing the compression this will lead to burn the material and you will face the burn mark on the preform and if the burn mark is minor you will see it in the bottles. So uh, b b uh, without verifying the moisture content in the PET resin don't work on the compression. Don't increase the back pressure. Uh, that's all. Uh, whatever the reason I have suggested uh, that you apply on the line. If there is something additional, kindly comment so that I can learn and in the next video I will add it. That's all. Thank